Hey, morning, everyone. I just want to go over a little, you know, try hack me. Uh, what do you call this task? There you go. I just wanted to go over a try hack me task uh, while recording, uh, just to give you an idea of what I'm actually studying for right now. It's you know early Saturday morning on the East Coast, and you know it's as simple as it may be. It's still pretty challenging. To be really honest, especially if I'm doing this for the very first time, which uh, most of the times, if I'm studying for an exam, and I'm gonna make a video of how I prepped for the CISSP, and this is just totally different. This is just total opposite of just reading some words on a piece of paper or in a book, and comparing that to physically, mentally looking for clues. And trying to solve a question or solve a problem, which is a lot more interactive, a lot more challenging, and a lot more time-consuming. That's for sure. It's not like I can say, "Oh, I read, you know, like ten pages in in like a half an hour or an hour," and okay, I absorbed it, right? But I could be stuck on one task for for like forty-five minutes, thirty minutes, forty-five minutes,、uh, depending on like how many times I have to reread it and reread it. And they're short paragraphs, right? And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So、uh, all the greens that you see here has already been completed, right? So for example, we started this、uh, virtual box right here.、Uh, this is the current IP of that box, the attack box. You can see up in this corner.、Uh, let me see if I can actually blow this up a little bit. Okay, that that looks a little better, and you know they give you a time frame of when it expires, because you know obviously they don't want you hogging the resources. I guess、uh, you can also terminate it、uh, beforehand.、Uh, that way you don't run out of time. And I pay for the subscription, so this is the one that I'm actually paying for right now. And I this is、uh, the badges that I've earned、uh, because I've been doing things、um, consecutively.、Uh, what's this forty five? Flames for five percent off swag. Oh, I guess. Oh, when I reach forty five, I get five percent off swag. That'd be nice. I like wearing my hoodies. Thirty,、uh, I get、uh, badge streak freeze. I don't even know what that means. And then seven, I get a badge access to network streak freeze. Eesh, I, I gotta look into more of that.、Uh, Completed question every day to build your hacking streak. Earn badges and streak freezes. Okay. Well. They're they're giving you incentives to obviously play along and play as long as you can. So anyway, I so you start the machine and you read through this and and I'm gonna be really honest. Like the the first task would be a little easier. Second task gets a little more, you know, involved. You have to actually look through stuff. You have to look through the um, directory, um, the directory structure. Let me just copy this and and show you guys.、Uh, so we'll go back to this. Attack box, paste it, and go. And they wanted to see. So the question was, what is the directory in the robot dot text that isn't allowed to be viewed by web crawlers? And then you you paste that in there, and then you'd be like looking over here, like in this in the field here, and they were like, oh,、uh, it's disallowed, right? Allowed is root, and then disallowed is the staff portal. And then you just paste that in there, and you select that. Or click it, and then it will say correct or incorrect.、Uh, of course, this is the easier one, and like I said, it it goes a little more involved. You see, it gets deeper and deeper. There's more reading involved,、uh, and then you're you're investigating this.、Uh, sometimes they'll tell you the command, the exact commands to、uh, input, but even then, like yesterday, I got held up on this right because it kept saying, well, I kept following this, and I was like, okay, curl the website. But I didn't realize I had to keep on putting <laughs> the、um, this section of it, right? The MD5 sum. I was like,、uh, it's not working, and and then I realized, oh, this is part of all of it, right? The pipe and then the MD5 sum. So I finally got the answer, and obviously I did, and which is right here. And、uh, <clears throat> sorry, and just this morning I'm looking through, and you know, <clears throat> oh my goodness, sorry about that. And this morning I'm looking through it. It's like okay, it's it's simple again, right? Site map, and they give you a directory. So now I'm going through it, all of it, one by one, and it's not difficult, but it's not crazy easy too. But 
also take in consideration that uh, Try Hack Me is probably the easiest, if not, yeah, probably is the easiest, uh, more of an elementary level style of teaching hacking, right? Because in comparison to the others that I've heard, um, you know, people who are OSCP certified is that like hack the box is a little more, uh, a lot more involved. Uh, OSCP has their playground, which is pretty involved as well, but that would definitely prep you towards the exam that they offer. And uh, hack the box has their own uh, certifications, but probably not as popular uh, in, in regards to the hiring world of HR. Uh, because even I didn't realize that Hack the Box had their own certifications, which they do. Uh, I'll save that for another video. Now, what's the purpose of doing all this? One, you have to have really high interest or your concentration level will just be like out the door. You just like you, you can attempt all this, but <clears throat> if you don't feel like you're going to use it, you, you might as well just don't even bother because it really takes up a lot of your time. I mean, I'm spending around two, three hours a day and, and I'm making a commitment even for an hour a day, whether it's late at night, like, you know, after I'm done with everything else work and, you know, with putting the kids to bed, or I'm trying to find some time in, in between like midday during a weekend because I know I may not be able to commit to it at night because I'll just be dead tired or something. Um, I'm right. Like right now I'm committing to it at like, I woke up at like seven in the morning. I I've been on it for like a, like an hour or so. And you know, I don't, we don't have anything going on till like 12 o'clock, but it doesn't mean I can stay on from like seven to 12. I just, you know, I I'm trying to, uh, also multitask because, you know, I'm trying to see what deals are out there. I'm looking for GPUs. I'm, you know, a whole bunch of things I wanted to do. Uh, I want to build out a new PC. I'm looking at sales to see, you know, where I can get uh, good motherboards and hard drives and, and all that other great stuff, right? Uh, but going back to all this, TryHack Me is, again, I'm not sponsored by them. But if you really, like, want to start learning, which if you're in this industry cybersecurity not everyone's going to be doing the same thing you got your blue teams and you got your red teams this is a red team approach this is learning about hacking learning about scripting learning about you know uh, software or application manipulation opposed to the blue team which i've been doing for years up until this point and this is the reason why i'm making this video is because this is all new to me i mean i've I've heard of Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, and all the other stuff, OSCP, way back many years ago when I first started, but I ignored it. I said, oh, I'm not into scripting. I'm not into programming. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. I'm not into, you know, as, as time went on, I became administrative of like, you know, SIMs and uh, end, endpoint host solutions and DLPs. And, and that kind of diverts your, your, work experience away from you know the the pen testing side it's just two different worlds um, but now the reason why i'm so into it is because i'm dealing with this day in day out i have a whole team that does only this which is pen testing and they're on the red team and you know they're they're constantly trying to break into things so i need i feel like i need to up my game uh, not just using my experience that I had from the blue team side, you know, working in the, uh, you know, organizational side where I'm managing uh, another team that does like, you know, uh, making sure like, you know, all the endpoints are protected and uh, our policies and firmwares and signatures are all up to date, you know, constantly updating to the latest and greatest version, um, remediating, remediating. Uh, outdated operating system softwares and all the other stuff, which is great. That's that's your job as to protect your organization in that fashion. But the pen testers look at that as an opportunity to penetrate the organization. Um, and that's, that's two different worlds, right? So uh, as a blue team, you don't update your firmware. As a red team, we're looking for people who don't update their firmware. And uh, it's, it's a new beginning for me. And I 
just wanted to share that with you guys that anything is possible no matter how many years i mean i'm like believe it or not i'm almost turning 50 and i'm and only now am i starting to take this more seriously because i really want to obtain the oscp so just wanted to share that with you guys that age there is no limitation on what you can learn uh, as long as you have the the drive and the ambition for it all right i want to thank you guys please remember to hit that like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys again really soon bye